That was real good. Oh, oh. yeah. There it is. Hey guys, Dr. Claire is your DMV chiropractor and I'm here today with Dr. Keita Vanderpool. She's also a chiropractor. And you're literally like a block away from me, right? Yep. Okay. Block away. So what's your address that way we can put it up? Perfect. On the It's 1231 Good Hope Road Southeast inside the Anacostia Art Center. Okay, so now I don't take insurance, but you do. Yeah. Right? right. Okay, so the folks basically the folks who you know who come in and have insurance. I'll just send them to you. <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah, right. it makes sense. Yeah. Um, okay, so what, what type of insurance do you take? We take a Mary Health, a Mary Group, Trusted Healthcare. We also take most major um, commercial insurance like Aetna, United Healthcare, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Okay. Um, so we do a lot, we take a lot of everything. Wow, so you pretty much take everything. Yes, we do. Okay, all right, because typically people will come to me, uh, it's usually like one visit or every two months, three months, you know? Because mm -hmm. um, we adjust everything, and I, and I use a diversified technique, right? Wonderful. So, um, but because I don't take insurance, you know, if they need uh, more extensive care, like some people may have to see you three times a week, you know, that type, you know, that type of stuff. So, uh, in that situation, I'll just refer them to you. Oh, perfect. Okay. Well, that sounds like a good one. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. So, we're basically going to adjust each other today. All right. All right, so again, I'm Dr. Vanderpool, and I'm so thankful that Dr. Clergy allowed me to come in to adjust him as well as, you know, reciprocate the adjust adjustment to me. So, Dr. Clergy, any issues today? Um, I know, like, I adjust a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> so my neck, I've been having that stiffness probably for a few days. So usually, you know, if I'm at home doing charts and then, you know, turning, mm -hmm. that's a bit tight. Usually I'll feel it like in that posterior portion of the neck. Okay. So... They could just need like nice adjustment to kind of really get everything flowing. Okay, right. You know, because the I could feel like the range of motion is a bit restricted. Off. Yeah, especially on that left side. Okay. Yeah, you can, as you can feel, it's real tight it's as well. Tight. Yeah. Okay, great. Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna use the combination techniques on you today. I do okay. SLT, a little activator, and some pulse spine and some drop. Okay. So um, let's get you started. Okay. Look through the ceiling for me. Any pain and discomfort? Pulling? Oh, uh, yeah. Right Where? there. Right there. The posterior portion right there. Look down to the floor. Yeah. Anything here? That's not too bad. Okay, look back in the middle. Look to the left. Anything here? That's tight. A, that's fine. Yeah, to be side of tightness. To the right. Okay, good. Anything here? Mm -mm. I still feel the pulling though. Mm -hmm. Or anything here? That's not too bad. You have to when I press down? Mm-mm. Or pull up? Pressure arms like this for me. Anything here? Yeah, in that lower portion, like L4, L5. Okay. What about this side here? Same thing. Okay. Arms down. Kick out one leg for me. Any discomfort or pain? Mm-mm. Do the other one. Anything there? Mm-mm. Do them both together. Anything there? Mm-mm. Take all the way across the like this. And it's something in your hip, groin, or back? No. What about now? That's good. To the other one? Maybe you get groin or back? That's good. That's good. All right. All right, so a little mini exam. All right. Let's see if your neck is still on. Doing your belly for me. Any pain or tenderness when you do this? Uh-uh. Here? Uh-uh. Or here? No. Anything here? No. Good. 
Anything here? Just the quads. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the quads are very tight. Right, yeah. Anything here? Mm-hmm. Or here? No. Actually, anything here? Mm-hmm. Good. All right, this is where the high pain do not bend it. Go down to the other one. Who adjusts you typically? Uh, Dr. Freeman. How often do you get adjusted? Usually three, three times a month. I don't get adjusted enough. You come over here from now on. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's necessary, you know, after working on everybody. Absolutely. <laughs> At the end of the day, you're, you're very stiff, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I, I knew you were here, but I forgot you were here, uh-huh. and so I get so tired up and busy that, like, I, I know. totally forget. Yeah, we all do. <laughs> it's always moving, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yep, yeah, I felt it. So you put me in a position. Mm-hmm, it's ready to go. Mm-hmm. That was good. Uh-huh, yep. Yeah. Break the other as you can. Go to the other one. Excellent. Been doing the YouTube videos? Um, about six months now. You like it? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> what made you decide to do it? Uh, well, you know, especially you know, our folks in the community, African Americans. I want to educate them about chiropractic care because they're not aware of it. You know. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it provides information. It shows how the adjustments are, you know, are performed. Mm-hmm. It's uh, overall education. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And we get tons of, uh, you know, followers, you know, they ask questions, you know, so it's, it's, it's a great form of uh, information. Yeah, I was going to say it's a great platform to educate the public and just really, especially in our community, so. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So just do a little traction on your neck. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to do a manual on your neck as well. Okay. Raise your leg up as you can, don't bend. To the other one. Good. So again. And the other one. Good. One more time. 
And the other one. Lay on your back for me. You feel centered? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, let's see your ribs. This is my tool of choice because I don't like to get my shoulder. My shoulder got messed up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I still do manuals, but mm -hmm. like, I think it's good for people to see both too. Right, absolutely. The different techniques that oh, yeah. you know, we use. Yeah. So I'm adjusting the shoulders now. So now I'm adjusting this pubic bone area. So a lot of times when a guy, this, this area here, the groin, is attached to the pubic bone and also the top of the hip. So a lot of times that gets really tight and the range of motion of the hip and pelvis is thrown off, also creating back pain. So Dr. Kirsch is more tender on the top? Yeah, that is tight. What about? Both, both top and bottom. Uh, probably top. Okay. Yeah. So I just the pubic bone as well as the top of the hip of the ASIS. All right, Dr. Kirsch, move your goodies the other way, please. Other way. All right. Yes, please. And it's important that patients wear loose pants. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, my kids got me wearing these tight pants. I know, right? Alright. Let me turn this on top or the bottom. Yeah, this side is not as bad as the other side. Yeah, that one's yeah. way off. Yeah. So, not too much here? Right. So this one is not too bad, yeah. Okay, I'm just, just going to pop still a little bit at the bottom. Alright, Dr. C, turn on your tummy again. Look at the right hand. Excellent. Do the other one. Excellent. Does it go loose in the front? Mm-hmm. Good. Can you do these up, Clarge? Bend them? Yep. Take a deep breath in. Go all the way out. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Knees down. There you go. That was good. Move mm -hmm. again as you can. Do the other one. Ooh, good. Just so you know. Excellent. Ankles and your knees. And we do your feet. All right. Because we got our feet all day. I'm tickling. Are you tickling? Yeah, I am very. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many people still ticklish on the feet. Probably the worst when it comes to that. Mm hmm. This calf is tight. Put your leg high as you can again. Do the other one. Excellent. You still get much truck drivers and um, DOT people? Uh, I don't do the DOT anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, but I get a lot of calls for them though. Mm -hmm. yeah. One more time, Rick. And the other one. Let's keep on your back. Let's check your back. Okay. Yep. Okay. I call these my like clean-up moves. <laughs> you comfortable? Mm-hmm.
You still work at Dr. Clarence? Not really. Dr. Clarence. <laughs> I try. I've been so busy. You're writing I've books, been... you're doing movies. I don't know what the heck. <laughs> There's so much going on. I'm sorry. I know. I'm I know. impressed. I really am impressed. I, uh, I don't sleep. Uh, but I'm definitely going to start working out again, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to do that one there. All right. You got to push that lot going on. Mm-hmm. Writing books, series, and all that good stuff. <laughs> oh, that was good. Mm hmm. That was real good. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Oh. I know, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, Doc. See, I love what I do. I know, and me I too. And I know you do too. It's just such a satisfaction when people I know. get better. Let me get you set up for me, slow. All right. So this is the front. This way? Yes. How are you feeling so far? Good. Yeah. Shake your hands. All right. I want you to do this. Keep your fingers tight. Do not let me open them up. Okay. Good. Do that one. Good. Sit your hand here. You get me I did. Me too. <laughs> I told you. You did? I did. Yeah. Oh, you say you was. Okay, so I got married on July 29th. Oh, okay. During the pandemic. That was. Oh, during the. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's been a. What, like last year? Awesome. I'm tears happy. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think so. You <laughs> better be happy. You better be happy. I am. Good. All right, brother. All done. All right, I feel much better. Excellent, excellent, My excellent. Head and neck range of motion. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. Hips. That's good. That groin uh, adjustment with the activator, that's actually pretty good too, because I didn't know it was so tender in yes. the inguinal area. Yes. Especially in that right side. Oh yeah. Makes a huge difference. Extension. Yeah, and the extension is actually much better. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did I hear a cluster? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so I'm like moving much better too. Okay. That's good. Excellent. So I'm Appreciate glad it. people can see both both techniques. Right, right. right. So you know as chiropractors we use different techniques, you know, oh, yeah. some of us are like just manual and you know other chiropractors use the activator just it's like uh, right like dr uh, kita venipool just did so uh she actually uses a mixture um I, i've used activator in the past but i just love manual so much <laughs> I can tell. that i just switched to manual you know like all manual and you're amazing at it i mean yeah. I still but like I, I still am but i just so much like this better for There's me a, right right so it's, it's, yeah. it's your preference you know as far yeah. as you know uh, what exactly you like you know mm-hmm. but uh so i'll put your information great and you know on top you know with the video and if anybody's in that area the dmv area then they definitely can look you up okay, okay. all right So I know you had, you said you had a bulging disc. Right? Yes. Okay, bulging disc, and that was uh, L2, L3. L2, L3? Yes. Okay, and what type of pain symptoms? Um, I'll get sciatica in my left leg every now and then. Left Sometimes leg, okay. it's bilateral. Okay. Um, back pain, diffuse back pain that comes and goes. Okay. So I really limit kind of how I work and what I do because of it. Okay. Um, but it's a lot better than it was two years ago. I could barely walk a couple years ago. So and, okay. it's a lot better. And then you, it's just been chiropractic care? You, have you done anything else besides chiropractic care? Chiropractic, physical therapy, acupuncture. Acupuncture. Okay. But no uh, injections, nothing no. like that? No? Okay. No. That's brave though because no. sometimes <laughs> the pain can be unbearable, you know? Yeah. And, 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 and at times, you know, injection, you know, it might relieve some of the pain. Although, you know, we try to stay conservative. Absolutely. For the most part. Okay. We'll get started. All right. We'll All right. start our way up and then just work our way down. Okay. 
All right, so let's check your head and neck range of motion first. to do an occipital lift, okay? Okay. So I'm actually going to be on the top of the table. Mm -hmm. Alright. Actually we're gonna put it Alright. I'll actually have you up right here. Good. And let's have you slide forward. restriction on that left side mm -hmm. so I'm sliding down to the uh, mid cervicals next okay. Is, is there is there tenderness with no, that? It's, it's locked up. It's here. locked up on that mm -hmm. side. Okay. Okay. Come up for me. All right. So just move head and neck around. Let me know that. It does feel better. It does I mean, feel better. I, I know it's gonna like dissipate. Right. I already right. know this, so yeah. Okay. So let me have you face that. Pitch your upper and mid back area while you're on the table. Okay, right in here. So let me try and get that mid thoracics and then I'll get the upper thoracics, okay? All right, let me have you come up. Let's see if we can get that, uh, that mid. So, um, actually, you can slide back for a little bit more. Okay, sorry. All right, put both hands behind your head. Good. Bring you back. Good. All right, squeeze your elbows together. Take a deep breath for me. Out. Okay. All right. Now let's. Uh, so let me have you stand up, face this wall. This wall? Mm -hmm. This 
so both arms up. You reach in. All right. And on like both fingers, put it on top of my hands. Good. Squeeze your elbows. Lean back, keep squeezing your elbows. There it is. Right there. Good. How was that? Good. That was good? Mm -hmm. Move around. Let's see how the thoracics. Not bad? Mm -mm. Okay. All right. So let me assess movements in your lower back. So let's have you sit and face this wall for me. All right. Ooh, that's tight. Huh. That is super tight. Okay. And it's L2 and 3. Mm -hmm. So this is L5, 4, 3, 2. Rotate. Rotate again. Okay. All right. Let me have you on your side. That's how you face this one. That's how you face this one. Still tight? That's tight, right? It's tight in my hip. Tighten the hip, relax. That's actually L2, L3, because it, it got like higher uh -huh. than L4, L5. Uh -huh. Okay, come on. Come on. Hip here is uh -huh. like locked, so it's I can't do certain things. It's okay. really sore. Okay. And this knee has an issue. Has an issue. So. This one's like swollen. So it's swollen? Mm -hmm. Have you done uh, ice and uh, ice, heat, laser, stem? Stems? Yeah. Okay. It's a lot better than it was last week. Yeah, I can feel it mm -hmm. in comparison to this knee. Yeah. Arthritis, though? Um, I broke this ankle, the right ankle, okay. so I think it's a compensation for oh, the ankle, for the, right, the right. two years I've been hopping. So. I see. Alright, actually, put some movement in the hip, put your leg right here. Okay. 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 Yeah. Alright, slide up for me. There you go. Good. So just applying the thrust to kind of help with some range of motion, okay? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, let's go to the other side and slide up. Good. This leg on my shoulder, actually. Hip. Yes. That's tight, so what's tight. going on? Arthritis? I'm not sure. You're not is. sure? You got um, an x-ray? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get an x-ray on it like soon. Okay. Oops, sorry. Okay, deep breath. Out. Just move around for me. Let me know how you feel. Got that long bar. You heard some popping with that one? I never did. Yeah. 
That's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you.